All right, y'all asked for part two. Here we go. First of all, shout out to the boomers. Yes, because that's who raised Generation X, and they didn't give a shit. They checked on our ass once a day just to make sure we were still alive because they had bills to pay and sleep to catch up on. See, a couple people maybe got their feelings hurt, but I don't care about your comments, darling, because you can't hurt our feelings. You ever held a flashlight for your daddy? Trauma. We grew up with, you think I got McDonald's money? It's food at the house. Chicken nuggets. You better eat this sloppy joe and be happy. We only ever heard two things from our parents. They are sick and tired. Also, they'd give you something to cry about. We ain't have name brand clothes. We didn't even know what that was. Our shit was called hand-me-downs. Y'all younger generation might want to look that up. We had a couple nice outfits, maybe one or two, but they was way in the back of the closet, and you didn't touch them unless it was time to go to, like, you know, church or a funeral, something like that. But then when you put them on, you couldn't take your ass outside and get dirty. You better put some play clothes on for that. And when you heard your mama yell out your whole name, like your whole government name, your heart fell into your stomach. And you just thought your mama whooped your ass. Wait until you heard those words. Just wait till your daddy gets home. And you didn't get to say phrases to your parents like, I can't. Because you know what you would hear? Can't never could. The hell does that mean? And there was no stranger danger. It was a simpler time. You was going to go spend the night with somebody. Your parents didn't have to meet the other parents and do a background check. None of that shit. They just pull up and put your ass out the car and drive off. Pull up at the skating rink, let you out, drive off, give you $5. I'll, I'll pick you up later. And if you ever called your mama's job and asked for her and it was on some stupid shit, she was sounding all professional on the phone because her coworkers could hear her. But honey, when you got home... You gonna find out why you don't call her job. Lord, and if you was out shopping with your mama, or you was in a grocery store and she ran into somebody she knew, you might as well get comfortable and take a nap because you're fixing to be there 17 days while they relive their whole life. And they'd be like, I ain't seen you since you was knee high to a piss ant. How little was I? And one of the classics, if you ever said, oh, so-and-so has this, or so-and-so doesn't have to do that, your mama undoubtedly would say, well, if so-and-so jumped off a bridge, would you jump too? My mama told me one time when I heard the ice cream truck coming, I was so excited, and she said, oh, no, baby, they only ring the bell like that when they're out of ice cream. Well played. Well played.